Hello everyone. Uh, before we start, it, I want to know who the guy is the first time to visit to attend here. The yeah, first of the high in in Okay, it's wonderful. Yeah. So because uh, today my talk is not talking about the technology, it's mostly talking about the basic knowledge about the or history of a Python, or mostly the power community. And also some of the experience in my feeling about the Python. Yeah. Because now today we're talking about the two, Python two point seven. Of course you know the title, right? <laughs> the Python two point seven will be finished this year. So okay. I guess maybe that's all. So Ivan, now I guess we can start it. Oh. Like, uh, okay, I'll just do a simple introduction. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I will do this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that's a good way to tell everybody that, like, you know, okay, I'm here. <laughs> Alright, um, the next speaker is Noah Chan. Um, he is a Python nomad, a volunteer of uh, Cross Asia, which is an NGO for promoting cross and open technologies in Asia. A uh, volunteer of PyCon in Taiwan, Japan, Korea, Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Hong Kong, and the Philippines. Wow. <laughs> and each of PyCon APEC since 2016. So I think that if you are a PyCon goer, you are no, uh, he is no stranger to you. Uh, <clears throat> he also volunteer and is a volunteer and speaker of Euro, Euro PyCon 2018. And he is the managing member of PSF. He wished that like he wished to connect to everybody who enjoy Python and try to support programming education to young people and everyone who is interested in programming by teaching basic programming skills using Python and R. Like be a, he like to be a mentor of uh, Hour of Code or Google Summer of Code in Cross Asia. So the topic for him today, as I mentioned, are you ready to say goodbye to Python 2.7? So according to the <laughs> Okay, okay, I shouldn't be like near to many things like that. So according to the PGP 317, we know that like Python 2.7 is going to move uh, after 2020. So uh, in PB404, we know that Python 2.8 will never come, which means all versions of Python 2 will be end officially. This uh, year. Official this last year. week and support at this year. <laughs> so, this year is the last year, and let's review the history. Or, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Ivy. So um, I will recap, but now we have got more attending. So may I ask question again? Who is the guy the first time to visit the PyCon Malaysia? Mm, you are still. Oh, Carol, you are the expert. <laughs> okay, so I'm very happy and to hear again because I visited the PyCon Malaysia since 2016, and uh, this is third year. And I think um, now we are getting more people, new faces to be attending the community and conference. It's very good news. So I'm very honored to be here to, and to share some my some experience or some my feeling about the Python. The first, just I want to say everything, everyone. The I already I every time I will share excited for my talk. 
if I go to any Python. So this is not the ending, but I will want to say thank you for all. Thank you. And I just briefly introduce myself. I'm Noah. Actually, uh, I've been already introduced. I try very many country and to the country with a Python, really. If without Python, actually, I didn't visit. So next, my next generally, my next advantage will be in the India because uh, I never been there, I never been there too. So I think it's a very good experience to me. And uh, also, I'm the uh, how do I say myself? Because uh, my previous job is a mobile engineer. Then the, after all, I become the Python love of Python. And also, I want to share, I want to connect people who love Python because the community is better me. The also the topic that I want to stand here and share this something with you guys. So today I want to share about, sorry, this is my, my duty. Because my, my role, is, one of my role is the I help this community. The community which called the Force Asia is uh, since the 2009 in Dubai. And the first Asia, the name is Force, which means the for free open source software. I think many people already know this because you now you are coming to the PyCom, which also is organized open source organization, also open source conference. And also the others, we have many, many uh, big community which lead a force in the world. And one of first Asia of them. I hope everyone, if you're interested, please Google them. And also we have GitHub. Uh, now we have over 200, uh, 226, I think it's counting now, the protocol in the world. So if you're interested, Google them and join the community in GitHub. So probably we can collaborate together and also yeah, maybe we can get a new future together. Thank you. And now we are going to the next step. So I think that everyone who is the who uh, guy who never used the Python two before, who you okay? I think that you are very interested in what about its history of Python two, right? Thank you. And because usually we always using the new stuff, always using the new technology, but uh, the Python two is quite different to me because. This is a Python, Python 2.7 is my first language of Python. And also I think the most of you is a, probably is a more expert than me because I studied Python since 2014. I'm not very the expert really, I think myself. But according the experience, uh, I'm learning, I'm trying to uh, program in the C over 12 years. So I think probably I, something you can be used to my experience in from C to Python. But totally different, right? And uh, we have the guy never used the Python two, so it's a very good idea. Then I guess maybe this answer is should be no doubt because we already know the twenty twenty February uh, January first is the last day of the official support for Python two point seven. I guess maybe we don't have a choice, so. And uh, have you go to the Pi Congress before? I don't have a share this slider because I just searched it this morning. I put this slider this morning. I think it's very interesting because I didn't I didn't saw before. And uh, it says why what's new the four point seven? Let the thing is the slider is the two point eight. It's nothing. It's, we don't have four point eight. So the graduate is very carefully to tell you. To the, we don't have 2.7 really, so no imagination for a new style, new point, for example, 2.8 or 2.9, yeah, no, really. And uh, we still, we also have a clock, the counting for the 2.7. This stuff, we, I catch the teacher in this morning for, now we got get off there, so, yeah. And uh, also, we got the Twitter of the PSF. They remind you every day, almost every day, I think. <laughs> because they said, uh, okay, now we are very few days for the official support, so hurry up. Now we have a lot of documents, we have many, many people we have in community who can support you to migrate from the 2.7 to 3. So, yeah. 
So it seems like we almost finished it. So I guess maybe I can finish my talk. Is there any question now? <laughs> if no, yeah, I think uh, I can feeling and experience one, okay? If no question. So, Ms. Miller, if we say no, what's the problem about we say no? I think we don't have a choice if we say no, but probably we can think about how the history of a Python 2. Talking about Python 2, I think we are thinking about a Python. Then, the, the from the Python.org, the original website, we have already provided you many, many ways to Include uh, to migrate from Python two to Python three, and also if you don't want to migrate, probably you can yeah try to yeah you can try to uh, build the version you own. Actually, I I really feel this one. This is my current version, but I have tell you this is a, a two, Python three point seven three. It's not Python two. So I uh, I said it's not uh, how many people know the Python? No, I say the real Python is named the why the Python is named the Python. Because uh, the Gradle is a very huge fan for this TV show. It's the monkey Python. Yeah, so if you know it, you can Google it. I said it's a very funny show, but I don't know the how which fun which point of fun because I cannot catch it. But besides that, and I also have the 30 years, it's lucky this year is also the 30 years of Python. And this TV show will be about the, uh, I remember it's the 19, it's 19th century, it's not over 2000 yet. So this, in the, before the 20 years, I mentioned about the Python, should be, it must be, it's over three years. And now we have the 30 years celebrate of Python. And uh, according to Python, so I say that we have already know the Python and also who the community or who the uh, department uh, for the Python. Then we have the Python.org, it's maintained by the PyTS, Python Software Foundation. And uh, how many people know this one and also how many people joined it? Thank you. And I have to, because of my another duty is uh, I have to promote the PSF. So please go to the PS, uh, Python.org and also have you see the community? Try to create community and also join them. It's you can get the latest news about Python and also you can get a lot of support and also join the community. You can share or you can ask the question to the community. I believe everyone to love solve your problem. If you if you talk to people, and uh, we have besides the Python, I think that now we are going to the conference. I want to show no, I want to tell everyone because the not only the Python is not only the language, it also a powerful community around the world compared to other languages. I think we don't have not so many conferences like that. Because you know, have you heard the C conference before? Have you heard the the, the Scala conference? I probably have now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Besides the uh, other conference, I think the Python is quite the yeah, very friendly and also very interesting and also a very powerful community. Now we have three major alliances for the Python community, Python conference. So the first one is the Python uh, Python US. Everyone has a node, it's the very big, it's a PyCon around the world. And also, I want to be. Yeah, later, I'll not chance I cannot go. Anyway, the second one is your Python. And uh, your Python is also, um, I don't know, because I, when, I search, when I search that, it's earlier than the PyCon US. I don't know why. <laughs> so, it means the PyCon US is less, uh, next year of your Python. Yeah, really, it's very funny, but yeah. But another one in Asia, we also have another uh, PyCon uh, alien, which is called PyCon APEC. So have you, everyone, uh, is anyone going to the PyCon APEC? We have in the Philippines in February, so it's finished. 
and the next year we didn't know yet. Now we are just really now. So also each Python or each community organization we have a mission. So trying to look at. Oh, oh sorry, your Python. And next one is a Python attack. I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm, yeah, actually, I registered this address uh, at 2007, but I never do anything now. So today, I think for a talk, and also I try to sign a lightning talk, I create the very simple website to share that. So literally, uh, I was just very, very simple to introduce the Python iPad. And also, the, I think it's very powerful community around the world. So it's how many power, how many community. Now we can dedicate to, we can search the meetup.com. 2050, uh, 500, sorry, 2500 the community. We're talking about Python. It's in probably it's not a Python community. It's talking, just me talking about Python. So how many country? You see the 70, uh, 37, and also it's over. 100, it's almost 200 country, so 200 city or region have Python. So the most important thing is that we have over 2 million people join this community. Now I'm one of them, and you are going to the conference, so you also are one of them too. Thank you. And the next one is the community in Asia. I think you already know, because now you're going to the conference, Probably you are touch the people from comfort, uh, from the community. Now we are in the Malaysia. So like he mean, it's the this uh, 2018 the chairman of PyCon Malaysia, and also um, Takano Misan, the PyCon JP 2016 and 17, the chairman. So we not only the conference, uh, also not only community in the local, we are on the global, and also we are many many community and conference around Asia. So I guess maybe it's the most important thing I have to, to me is that I want to join everyone, but <laughs> I'm trying now. So have you seen anyone today? tomorrow. So, yeah. And uh, talking about the history, so we have to introduce everyone the cradle. So if you don't, if you didn't see this one, yeah, let's just uh, take a uh, just just uh, take a look because this this interview the introduction is an interview is from this year. The uh, I heard is uh, April. Yeah.
<laughs> One imminent change is that Python's own governance structure is changing. And the community is currently in the middle of sort of figuring out what's the best way to do governance. It's either going to be the non RPCFL, although that is the less likely solution, or like Yes, I think this video is recorded, uh, interview is recorded before the PyCon US this year. So I almost selected the news from the Gradle. And according to the news, I would think I would know the Python is made by the community. It's from the Gradle, but it's maintaining and uh, is the, it includes many, many suggestions from the community. So it really is not only by the one people. So based on the say the it's not only one people, so how should we maintain the quality of Python? Now we have this one. The PEP. Uh, probably many people like me. Actually I know the PEP the 2018, that's last year. Before that I just heard I but I didn't I didn't study about functional PEP because you know everyone told you the how to program, but they didn't tell you the coding style. The PEP is one of the coding style. Yeah, because you, you probably you you interesting about the uh, why different the Python compared to Python to other language. Because I think Python we have spring, we have a soul, and the other language is a language. So that's different because we have PEP. Now the PEP have uh, the also the PEP that decide the 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 which version will be released and also the, the which day will be end. So the, I say the PEP the 327, uh, uh, 372, they say they announced the pre, uh, Python 2.7 and also announced the, the, day, the daylight or the end of the Python 2007. This means the Python 2007 since the 2009. The generally, the each version we have the five years for maintaining it. So the uh, Python 2.7 should be finished in the 2014. But unfortunately, the community people and also a lot of people think that Python they are too important. And the Python 3, there are many people they didn't know how to use that. I'm sorry, but really, at that time, the 2014, the many people didn't. Why we have the two language, but we say it's Python. The two uh, Python three and Python two is not very very different, but uh, the style, the style and the idea and the uh, sort of the concept is different. So for me, actually, I didn't study the Python three very well. I have to say, mostly I use the Python two. Yeah, really, <laughs> mostly I use the Python two. So. Before this one, the, they announced the Python 2.7 will not will be the last version of Python 2, and also the next PEP, the teaching the PEP 404, they said we will never have Python 2.8. Yeah. So according to these two PEP, the you can see if you want to see the who make the final judge. You can check the PEP 444 because uh, according this uh, uh, discussion, now we don't have. But 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 I said but if you have we we use another another inner power we join the Python community, we can create another PEP to recover the point A. But to me, it's I'm sorry, I don't want to. <laughs>
So, so okay, because we're talking about PEP, we have been talking about this one. Um, I guess maybe many people know or many people don't, but uh, probably you heard the first sentence because uh, I always said it's on what many people say. The beautiful is better than ugly. Excellent is better than incredible. And the simple is better than the complicated. I think the many people are thinking, uh, even though you're not a Python engineer, probably you heard this uh, uh, the port from the other player. It's a port from the, uh, the Python. And it's, it's made by the Ping Peter, right? So Ping Peter right this one since the 1990. Uh, I checked the, this is the mailing list in the 1990, uh, sorry, 1999. So at that time, the big for Python, and also they show, show me what, what different the Python and the other language because we have beautiful language now. So it's interesting, now they already integrated uh, the Python since the two po uh, Python 2.6, uh, right, I think the 2.3, sorry, Python 2.3. After Python 2.3, you just in try to uh, add the interpreter and try to edit the import this. Now you can see the portal of this one. So if you have Python, you have used Python, try to type in the import list. So now we're talking about a version of Python 2. Yeah, because you know the Python is very, it's uh, almost 30 years. And now the first Python since the 1994, and uh, now we are the 19, uh, 19, 19, uh, 2019 is the Python 3.7. And the Python 2.7 is the October, sorry, it's a 2010 July. Why I just why I list this one? Just because I want to know not only the the history of our Python set, it's also the talking about uh, this we have we have so many versions about this one, really. The other language I think uh, uh, for example the C. Uh, when I studied the C, the two uh, C11. It means the 2011. And uh, sorry, this is my last uh, language, the last uh, C version, is the C 2011 version. But there are not so many major uh, increase. But Python, we see you they already have a lot of version and also it's still counting. So mean the community is living and also everyone can join to put your idea for the next Python. And uh, I say the Python is become the most popular language. The greater also talking about that. So we have the, the the yeah. Do you know the topic? P O B P I R B. It's the no. Uh, I didn't say it's the unused unused is the word side, but he show you the most popular language in the world. Yeah. So many people thinking who uh because we want want to compare to other language or ourselves. We don't judge the people, but we can judge the language. Okay. So it's been the Python now is getting the so popular around the world now. And also, not only the topic, we also have other the new media or news is talking about the Python. Python is really popular now. And also, some people have the also in Japan. This is the history. This is a country from Japan. So it's almost around the world. It's not only for the uh, America or Europe. It's Japan and also Asia, America. It's very very popular. And also, some people have the make the history, not history, it's the diary, to tell you the how fast for Python become the most popular language around the world. It's interesting, yeah, because of that. And um, I was thinking about, uh, I was very thankful, the JetBrain. JetBrain uh, have a cooperation with the PSF since the 2017. They have the survey to share the want to know the latest news or latest status for the Python engineer or Python developer. So now they can see the Python 3 and Python 2, the ratio for Python 3 and Python 2. Now in uh, 2070, it means uh, this document, it, this result is a survey at uh, 2060. In 2060, they are over the uh, quarter people, it means 25% uh, still using the Python, and I am one of them. And but the Python 3 already have a benefit. And the 2080, this ratio is what is getting bigger. Now the Python 2 is just only the 60. 
So it is everything, every evidence that show you Python 3 is getting popular and also the most people already know just because they want to justify it because you know if we don't open your support probably we cannot fix the problem about the like, security or the safety or something like that but anyway the Python 3 is very stable and very robust there's no doubt but overall, overall the, we have memorized the, our older language putting in the Python 3 and also, I guess maybe if, it, uh, if you are using a Python, of course using the lot of package. The, this is the most of the language uh, package I learned from Python 2. Uh, if you're interested in just Google, just copy the link of it. <laughs> it's Wikipedia that show you how many, which is the most popular package around the world. world. And not only this one, they also have the wheel. I think uh, if you've seen the, the, the PyPy or PyWheel, you can see this. Uh, they already counting which popular, which the package is popular now. Uh, I think the PIP is most popular. But I didn't know why uh, URL lib is why so popular too. Because I don't use it. I don't, I don't use it so much. So much and uh, about the Python 2, is another, another implementation, isn't it? This type, this uh, uh, can is rigid, rigid. It show you the why the Python two is better than Python. Uh, Python three is better than Python two because they say, yeah, if you think the Python two <laughs> is not very the good idea, the Python three is much better. Now we have the latest the version is Python three point four. It announced the two thousand eighteen July uh, general, uh, July uh, June twenty seven. Which means uh, every Python have uh, five years for maintaining it. Which means the Python three uh, Python three point seven is will be end the support by uh, two thousand uh, twenty three. Right? Yeah, twenty three. So because uh, I've heard of Python two, I think that someday we have Python four, right? But uh, actually. It's so fast for us because the Python uh, account uh, fourteen the the version migration version. I guess maybe the Python four will come come for us uh, at two thousand twenty three. Maybe no, never <laughs> probably. <laughs> not I think not soon yet. Probably in the five year we don't see anything about Python four. But anyway, the great authors always say Python four for it for like. It should be will not like the Python three. It means the probably you have to learn another new style or probably new schema or probably new sentence for the Python four. But anyway, it's the new is the future. Yeah. So, as well, I think uh, my major talk about the history of Python or my feeling or my experience of Python is done. Besides that, I want to share something more. We're talking about the community. And I want to share something about the diversity. One of them is the women who call because I joined the women who call the like frontier or like mentor for for Taipei women for Taipei since the 2017. And I think that there are so in Taipei in Taiwan, the com the ratio of the engineer IT engineer is very huge. It's two probably is eighty to uh, eight to two. It means every is of course is a male and the two is a female. So the people, the, some people, they thinking we have to do something more for the diversity, and also we want to balance for the engineering ratio in the old IT company. So Umoco is one of the of this one, and not only there is a Umoco Taipei, and also we have many many Umoco is around the world, and very some Umoco. I think this year they didn't support the board here, and also the other conference. Umaho Co is a very tight relationship relationship with the PyCon because in PyCon Thailand, PyCon Malaysia last year, PyCon Taiwan, and also PyCon others, we all we also have the some the like a food or community food for the Umaho Co. So if you are female, I think this time I saw a lot of female engineer to join there. If you have time, try to connect to the localized the community for Umaho Co. You will got a lot of the friends of them. And also, they have another the conference which called the Umaco Connect Asia. Yeah, it's the Singapore. Yeah, it's a, it's happening soon. Yeah.
in my face the my favorite slogan is the reverse the reverse this slogan is named is by PyCon Korea 2016. We also the PyCon iPad there. So I think the, because I said I joined Omo Code is 2017, it means I when I saw this slogan, it gave me some many many inspiration for the idea. Because I know it's not only the one one gentle in the world. We have male and we the female, we also have a lot of gentle. So we have to do something to not balance. We have to thinking about the, uh, try to balance the world. It means that we have to respect everyone who interest in the share the same uh, community or same language. Now we are using Python, we are using C or we are using other, other language. We can respect other. Why we cannot respect the other gentle? So this is give me a lot of inspiration. Thank you. And uh, here we. Need or is uh, is uh, is not retired or retired. So at uh, 2018 in the Euro Python, the mark have a three celebration not celebration <laughs> with thanks to Gregor. And also Gregor has respect. But <laughs> well unfortunately this Twitter already did it. You cannot I, I try to recover, I try to find it, but I cannot find it because the Gregor did it this one. Okay, according to uh, this year in the PyCon uh, APAC in Spain, we also have small uh, not celebration, we have a small uh, thanks for, for the greater two because this year is a 30 years of Python. Now, this is required. And uh, okay, the last one is uh, should we say goodbye? Of course, and thank you. Okay, try to join the community, yeah, the local community. Thank you. Out of time, I think if you have a question, you take one question. Then, okay, I think we don't have. No, okay, we can. <laughs> if no, then thank you. Yeah. yeah.